that the two week freeze is over, restaurants can go back to having outdoor dining again. Tonight, our Lindsay Nadger is speaking with a restaurant owner about what they're doing and what you should look for if you plan to dine out. Lindsay. Yeah, well, outdoor dining was a great option for the summer, but many restaurants have had to rethink what that looks like for the winter, which is why a lot have set up tents and heaters to keep customers warm. Bollywood Theater on Division set up their tent on the patio just two days before the last shutdown, so it hasn't gotten much use yet, but the owner is hopeful it will help bring in more customers. Though he says they're currently doing about a third of the business they normally would and have had to make several changes. They're still only doing takeout and delivery for now, but customers can stay and eat outdoors. I think it certainly helps from a number of perspectives. First and foremost is it creates some energy and you know we've had very we've never opened up inside dining. We've we've really tried to kind of fall on the safe safe side for our employees. So having a place where people can sit where we feel safe adds some energy. All right, so just how safe is outdoor dining? Well, health experts say it depends on what it looks like. Under the guidelines, covered outdoor spaces are required to leave at least 75% of the square footage of the sides open for airflow. Bollywood Theater setup is a good example of that because several sides of their tent are open. Again, health experts say it's all about airflow. So if you're sitting in a completely enclosed structure and you can't feel the wind, they say it defeats the purpose and you might as well be sitting inside. Reporting live on Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.